All right, welcome back. So today we got another box on the bench. That's right, another unboxing, which I don't think you guys can guess what it is. No, that's a lie. I'm pretty sure you guys are going to guess what it is. This is the new brushed Arma Infraction 1A scale Street Basher. Not to be confused with the on road 1 7 scale Infraction, as this is brushed. So, nine turn motor. I'm sure you guys have seen all this stuff. New tires. says steel input so the inputs are steel but everything else is plastic so here's your input that's steel the ring gear plastic so I think people are confused with metal diffs because the input gear is steel I guess but they will handle some power if you want it to go brushless with this beast of an RC. Tony did a CCX RC, did a really cool in-depth unboxing of these, which I thought was pretty cool. Go check his channel out if you want to see an in-depth detail of everything this RC has. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at it. We're going to compare it and we're going to run it. There's only so many unboxings that you can see of the same RC. But I'm hoping that this new 3S line and yes, Went out and picked up a 2S 5200-35C Ma Gens Ace bashing battery for this because I don't have any 2S LiPos. I do have some nickel metahydrate stuff from way back in the day, but I don't even know if those things will charge up anymore. And yes, teal. Teal and brown. That's a unique combination, I gotta say. Teal and brownish gold. Might be gold and black. But definitely a cool looking body. Wing definitely has got to be trimmed down. That would be like a parachute on the back of this thing. As tall as that little thing is. But I was digging... The little uh, the little new wheels, these little basher wheels for the street bashing, and it does come with a charger and a battery, 3300 ma, that you can charge up and use right out of the box for Christmas Day. So first time I've seen this little guy first time I've seen one of these in a long time um, but I heard this thing came with some optional gearing so the other curiosity I had with this do the bodies interchange we're going to find out if you guys haven't seen, Bars and Tone sent over a shirt for me for work. Bright orange. Go check out Bars and Tone out on YouTube. Does a lot of send it bashing. So thank you, Bars and Tone, for the awesome shirt. You gotta, gotta love it. So what we're going to do, we're going to keep that shirt over there for now.
does it fit on here? No. Why? You might ask? Well, it looks like the body posts are too far spread apart. The back ones do line up. And then these little side things are in the way. So, it looks like if you just take these and move them to the inner holes, remove these, you can put on this. So let's check that out real quick. Because I like seeing things that are interchangeable. So if we take this, move it to the inner, and I think lower it down some, and then we take this thing, that one, that comes off, and we're going to do the same on this side see if you guys can just buy the body and put it on the infraction so that comes off this pulls out put this hardware with that let's lower down this body mount and move it in so move it in So did that work? Let's see. There you go. Now you got yourself a Vendetta brushed. What do you think about that? Interchangeable. And that's what I love about this 3S line. And it doesn't look half bad with the basher wheels on it. So if you wanted to just purchase one, buy yourself an extra body, turn it brushless, and buy the infraction, I mean, I honestly would say this would be the way to go. Especially if you're going to change out the electronics. And then, you can have two for one. What do you guys think? I think it's a cool, cool platform. Honestly, I do. So, I'm going to get this stuff put back on. I'm going to get this body put back on. We're going to charge up some batteries. We're going to get out. We're going to go bashing. Or, like I said, if you want to buy just the Vendetta with the brushless system on it, you know that you can go ahead and put the infraction body right on it. Now, you won't be having the mud guards in here. You'll be kicking rocks and stuff into here, which, I don't know. Is it worth it? Couldn't tell you. Uh, but I definitely love this platform. It even has the spot in the rear to where you can put the little plastic rear piece in here. And I would just probably bolt it down rather than having the studs go through. I would just bolt that on if it comes with the body, which I believe it will. And then you get the same, pretty much same everything is the way I see it adjustable yeah so you get the adjustable shocks the sway bars all that stuff and if you want for now keep it uh, brushed you don't have to go brushless but that's the nice thing about this 3s platform is that most of the stuff is interchangeable so you don't have to buy two of them this is a really good deal, you know, at the 300 bucks. God, these tires are definitely a lot stiffer than the Vendetta tires. You know, are we going to go 8S? I don't know. Maybe. But I, I really, I, I, what I'm trying to say is I'm never, I'm not one of those people that, that run on 2S 
very often. Um, 4S seems to be the minimum that I run on, but running the Vendetta on 3S and even RC Guy Garage with the Big Rock has really got me liking the 3S line from Arma. I've always been a Slash fan um, with the Traxxas line um, because of the speed runs and me starting out with that. But I'm I'm really I'm really impressed with this, and and people are saying, you know, it's all plastic. Where's the money? You know, things are going up right now, and from what I'm hearing, Nitro Freaks talked about prices going up again. And I, I can see that watching our ports, whether it's the port of Long Beach or out in the Bay Area, San Francisco, another big port out there up in Oakland. Um, you know, you, you have to wonder, is now the time to buy, um, especially when it comes to RCs? What you want is you want something that's universal between all your RCs. Um, and I think that's where this platform is great is that you know you're getting you're getting something that can interchange if you already have the 3s line you can interchange it onto this chassis there are some new technologies that they gave us which are these front and rear um, diffuser and front bumper deal um, I'm curious to see basher queen come out with a splitter for these things um, and maybe some side skirts to get some of the air out of the body but overall, come on guys, I mean, look at this. This is just a mini version of the big infraction. Um, and you guys watch me run in front of my street, in front of my house all the time. And I always worry about the kids out there. And to have something like this on 2S that I can get home from work and remember it's a hobby. Um, it's not my job. I, I work a lot and sometimes I just wanna go outside and rip. This is the platform to do that. The Big Rock was that way. The TLR um, Typhoon was that way. It's just something that I can grab, go, and run real quick. And not worry about killing somebody outside or taking off somebody's leg um, with an infraction or a limitless. When, you're, when there's a lot of people around. This is a perfect platform to do that. Um, it's also a perfect platform to get people into the hobby. Hand them a controller. They're not going to do any damage to this thing, especially brushed. You, you're going to run into the curb. It's you know it's going to beat up the body a little bit, but you know that's what these things are for. Is they're to go out, bash, have a great time at Christmas time with the with the family that's around, and uh, comes with everything: charger, battery, everything, just to rip it Christmas Day, Christmas Eve, whatever you guys want to do. But I'm going to get this thing back together. I wanted to get this you know, platform undone. I definitely wanted to see if um, this body was gonna interchange, and it does. And Arma, you know, did a great job when it comes to making sure the parts interchange so that we can go out and rip it. And shout out to Bars and Tone. Please go give him a follow. Um, check out his merchant merchandise he's got. He's got some shirts out there, some other things. He's really posting for you guys every day. And uh, happy to see it. Happy to see his channel grow. He's really putting a lot into the hobby. But there you go, guys. I'm going to get both of these two things out today. We're going to do a speed rip with the new infraction. And we're going to do a speed rip with the Vendetta again today. And possibly 100 miles an hour. That's why it's covered. But there you go, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you guys on my next video. Thanks for watching.